Hello. Today's letter comes to us from Bill G., who writes, Dear Brother Ron, what do you think of homosexuals being involved with Christianity? Is this a perversion of the word, or is everyone welcome? Should we just trust that God will sort it out later? Well, dear Bill G., the uh, admonitions against homosexuality in the Bible are based on the traditions of the Jewish society, which demanded that men be totally masculine. This is logical because people in that society did not have an easy life. The most important activity for any family was getting enough to eat. Forget about going to the market and selecting the ingredients for your menu. If you did not go to bed hungry, you were ahead of the game. This often meant that men had to hunt for their food. This could be a very dangerous activity. Many animals, such as boars, bears, etc., do not take kindly to being hunted. There was no room for sissies in the hunting party. We also need to consider the other dangers faced by the ancient Hebrews. The story of the Good Samaritan caring for a man who had been beaten and robbed by roadside bandits is a familiar tale. This was a common occurrence at that time. Travelers had to be ready to defend themselves at all times. The Bible also tells of people being eaten by lions. In a lot of ways, ancient Israel made the wild, wild west look pretty tame. Now, if you go to the website shown here uh, and click play on the map, you will see that what we now know as Israel has been conquered by just about everybody from the Assyrians to the Babylonians to the Muslims to the Europeans. It seems that the Hebrews were almost constantly having to fight off foreign invaders. They needed fighters, not lovers. This was also before the days of overpopulation. They needed all the warriors, hunters, and farmers they could get. Homosexual copulation does not produce children. It was therefore considered a waste of good semen and an abomination. However, Matthew 22.30 tells us, For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. Obviously, physical copulation is not a burning issue in the spiritual world. For that matter, neither are the marriage laws of a particular society. It would seem, therefore, that one's choice of a physical partner in the material realm would not be a deciding factor in gaining admission to the heavenly kingdom. Thank you for joining us.